Today, I'm here with Mark Steiner, who does Bitcoin classes and seminars in Switzerland. And he's joined me today for an interview to talk about living on crypto in Switzerland. Mark, thank you for joining the interview. How are you today? Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a perfect day here in Switzerland. So nice weather outside. So perfect day to talk about Bitcoin. <laughs> My first question for you today is uh, Switzerland is notoriously friendly to crypto. Um, I think they were one of the first uh, countries to pass like a regulatory framework for crypto startups and stuff like that. What impact has that had on the Swiss crypto community? Yeah, that's true. So because we are a pretty small country, right? Um, we are getting in touch with a lot of people. So the community has a, I would say, a good um Good talks to the to the regulators here in Switzerland. So everybody is talking to each other. We have a lot of knowledge here. We have our university, the ETH, which is one of the uh, yeah best universities out there. So we have a, a pretty good and strong tech community here. So the the the, the, the politicians and so on they are yeah open minded and to talk to the people here, and that's pretty good because um, yeah. Because we are that small, we are a small country, and that it's definitely a benefit for us that um, that the community could um, yeah work together and bring this stuff uh, to the next level. That's pretty good and pretty awesome here. Yeah. How easy would you say it is to convert your Bitcoin to Swiss francs? Uh, that's pretty pretty easy because we have a lot of ATMs here in Switzerland, so you fi you find a lot of uh, ATMs all over the country. So we have um, I guess there are three different companies which have um, uh, various ATM networks here in Switzerland. So it's really, really easy to, to buy Bitcoin converted uh, to Swiss francs. Uh, we have the, yeah, we, the, the name is SBB. So it's the, the national um, train company here. Um, you can buy their, uh, via their ticket um, uh, machines you can buy uh, bitcoins as well so it's pretty easy we have a lot of famous um, exchanges and, and brokers here so it's really easy um, to get in touch to buy to sell and um, yeah that's really really easy here in switzerland would you say that it's common for swiss businesses to accept bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies as a method of payment or is that still something that's a little too new how can i say that we have a lot of hotels here luxury hotels uh, for sure um which accept bitcoin we have um some shops we have the the, the biggest um consumer electronic market here in switzerland called uh, digitech uh, galaxos they accept bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as well so you can buy your computer stuff and all these uh, things here in switzerland with cryptocurrencies um for myself i accept bitcoin as well for my business um you can buy a lot of stuff here in Switzerland with Bitcoin. And we have, um, maybe you know that or you heard it, uh, we have the, the, the Crypto Valley, which is, yeah, in Switzerland, everything is close to Zurich, right? Because we are such a small country. So um, uh, the, 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 the Crypto Valley is based around uh, Zug and, and, and Zurich. These are two um, uh, cities here in Switzerland. And there you can pay with um, your taxes with cryptocurrencies as well. So yeah, there are a lot of... Um, shops a lot of um yeah companies which accept bitcoin and, and other cryptocurrencies it's it's really easy to use it not that much to be honest but um it's still growing it's still growing definitely what about switzerland's banking and investing sector i know there's a lot of family offices that are located in zurich and zug um there's also a lot of wealth management companies are they uh, optimistic about cryptocurrency and bitcoin investment or are they still kind of seeing it as like too risky yeah it depends so there are definitely some of them which are really uh, forward looking and they are really interesting into to offer uh, bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to their customers because um, you see uh, the, the ubs and the local other uh, banks here um, they released some reports about bitcoin and and, and blockchain and, and cryptocurrencies and they have, yeah, they have to talk about it because their customer base, they asking them, what are your opinions about um, yeah, Bitcoin and to invest in Bitcoin? So the pressure, the pressure is there from the customer side, right? And some of them, they, 
they go in really straightforward and and use it, try it out, learn everything about it and and offer yeah definitely products to their customers as well. Others are more tradition traditionally uh, yeah it depends. So it's I would say a lot of them are off uh, are, are really interested in. Some are yeah they will be follow I guess but um it's i would say uh, and the, right. the regulatory are also really very open to it so the, the banking sector is open to it and to talk uh, with the tech community as i said and um yeah i would say this that that's it more or less uh, you mentioned that there's lots of bitcoin atms around switzerland and that you can buy bitcoin from pretty much any train ticket kiosk <laughs> um is this also true for other cryptocurrencies or is it pretty much just only bitcoin uh, the, the ATMs, they offer, I guess, the, the, the most famous five, I would say, Bitcoin for sure, Litecoin, Ethereum, and I guess Dash. I'm not 100% sure, but um, they offer not only Bitcoin, but um, for sure, Bitcoin is definitely the number one coin, which uh, the, the, the customer asking for and looking for, definitely. And then you also mentioned that in the Crypto Valley, people are able to pay their taxes with cryptocurrency. Uh, does that extend to other cryptocurrencies beyond Bitcoin as well? Or is that just pretty much Bitcoin only? Um, as far as I know, they're accepting Bitcoin and Ethereum. But um, as I heard, Bitcoin is definitely the number one uh, cryptocurrency, which the people use to pay the taxes. Yeah. So you hold Bitcoin seminars and educational classes in Switzerland. Can you tell us a little bit about your work? Yeah, um, I offer various... Um, yeah, classes, I would say, um, seminars. So I don't do just one or two hour seminars because it doesn't help people educate themselves to to know more about uh, Bitcoin, um, to use Bitcoin and all this stuff. But I offer, I, I have some products. One is, um, I call it the bootcamp. You you need a fancy name, right, for your product. And the, the, the first one is the bootcamp, which you go really... Um, over uh, several weeks through uh, what is Bitcoin, how to buy it, how to store it, how to secure it, and how to, um, yeah, to save everything, uh, buy it on a safe way and stuff like that, really um, hands-on, it's more hands-on focused. Then I have other classes which um, are oriented more in uh, advanced Bitcoin security, what is, how can I secure my wealth better, maybe with multisig or Shamir or whatever um, you want to use. It depends for sure. Um, what is perfect for you and, and so on. And I have some other classes which I uh, teach. So one is the CBP, the certi if, if you want to achieve the Certified Bitcoin Professional Certification, um, you need a lot of knowledge, right? You have to know what Bitcoin is and all this other stuff. And I teach people, especially from the financial sector to, to uh, build up their knowledge and come to the point that they um, are successful with the CBP, the Certified Bitcoin Professional um, um, test, which you do online. And, and then, yeah, I help them to, yeah, to go through the whole process and, and understand everything. And then we have some other projects here in Switzerland, um, which are focusing to the banking sector, just um, to educate them. One is the Certified Crypto Finance Expert, so it's, um, it's another title here in Switzerland, which I'm uh, one of the lecturers there. So it's really pretty focused on the banking industry because they have to educate themselves, right? They need some education. And um, we offer um, yeah, this product to specific to the banking sector. Um, yeah, a lot of other stuff which I, I offer and do, but it's really focusing on educate people, uh, profit from my knowledge because I'm uh, in, the, in, in the space since uh, 2014. So I have a lot of experience. I did a lot of things. I made a lot of mistakes and, and stuff. Uh, and so it's really, I give my experience to the customers so they, so they are able to uh, profit from my knowledge. Um, yeah, since 2014, which I, yeah, did a lot of things in, back in the days, yeah. Uh, would you say that most of your customers are like, kind of like industry professionals uh, for your classes? Or do you also get like a lot of just random hodlers? No, no, no. It's really, I would say 80% are private individuals. So from 
20 up to 70. So I have a, a really broad um, customer base. Some of them are experienced, some not. Um, uh, interestingly, I have, I would say roughly 50% are um, men and 50% are women. So it's not only really a, a, yeah, a man focused uh, thing, I would say. So it's really, really cool that. And the other 20% are really just, um, yeah, not private individuals, other, uh, yeah, uh, from the banking sector or um, successful other people which uh, have day businesses and stuff like that. So yeah. For Bitcoiners in Switzerland, what would you say are the most useful bit refill gift cards? That's a, that's a good question because the problem is here in Switzerland that um, we have, I would say, more or less a stable, a stable currency, right? So the Swiss franc is so the, yeah, it's it's stable, I would say, and the people, yeah, they have a lot of wealth here in Switzerland, so they have good jobs and they trust the here the the, the government and the banks and and the, and the institutions and so on. So Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies in, in general are more like an, an asset here in Switzerland, not really a, a currency. I use Bitcoin, I would say, weekly. So I bought my classes here with, um, with, uh, with Bitcoin as well. Um, but that's definitely not the normal thing here. So the people are not really spending much of their Bitcoins here. And so from your perspective, from, from the gift card perspective, it's hard to say because I, I've seen that you have the Digitech and Galaxus gift cards as well. And these are, as I said, the, the biggest electronic consumer markets here in Switzerland, which, where you can buy computers and all this stuff, but you can buy directly. So you don't need really your gift cards, right? So it depends, it depends. I would say it's, it's, it's really hard to say. It's really hard to say because we have another company here in Switzerland. They offer some gift cards as well. They are really uh, popular here in Switzerland. So it's really that I'm um, like the, yeah, it's pretty the same like uh, Zalando. Maybe you know the Zalando or um, what are all the famous gift cards, Google or Apple uh, gift cards. So you can buy here Bitcoin with these gift cards directly as well. Um, they are pretty famous. I know that. Um, but from your perspective, it's hard to say really, to be honest, because the people I know, they didn't spend that much of their Bitcoins, to be honest. How would you say that Swiss Bitcoiners are typically acquiring coins? Is the electricity cheap enough to do mining there? Or are they trading primarily? Or would you say that they're earning it like for doing side jobs and stuff mm -hmm. like that? Mm -hmm. Mining, definitely not. So it's it's really expensive here as well. So I know some some miners here in Switzerland, especially when the, the price is uh, going up, they could mine profitable, but it's really a small business here. Most of the, of the people, they just, um, it's, it's savings, it's money they, which they save uh, through their day jobs, and then they buy Bitcoin through this money. Um, interestingly is that um, we have a special framework here in Switzerland that you can buy Bitcoin up to 1,000 uh, Swiss francs per day without any KYC process here. So we have three uh, startups here in Switzerland. One is Relay, one is Pocket Bitcoin, and the third one is Get Bitter. Get Bitter was a, uh, a, from Netherlands, but they moved here to Switzerland because we have this special framework so that you can buy really on an easy daily basis or on a weekly basis uh, with the dollar cost averaging um, system easily uh, bitcoins and this is one of the most famous way which most of the people here I know um, buy bitcoin with via such a startup here with a DCA dollar cost averaging strategy yeah. is there anything that I haven't asked you about living on crypto in Switzerland that you'd like people to know yeah, it's it's if if you are interested to work in in this space, so it's it's re, it's really a vibrant uh, environment here in Switzerland. We have we have a lot of special companies here, I would say, here in the Crypto Valley. Um, but um, a lot of them are really interesting as well. We have really really cool developers here. So maybe you know that uh, Jonas Schnell is one of the core maintainer of the Bitcoin core maintainer, which is uh, Swiss. He, he lives here in Switzerland. 
we have really, really a, a strong tech community here, which is very really awesome. You can talk to those guys really directly. We have a lot of meetups here. Um, the guys from Bitbox, the, the, the hardware wallet from the Shift Crypto guys, they, they live here in Zurich. It's really awesome to meet those guys during the meetups here. So um, it's really a vibrant environment here to, to live and to work in this, in, in this space. And especially to, if you see the, yeah, the, the banking sector is so close, so you can challenge them. And uh, as I said, some startups growing out of the ecosystem here, which as I said, pocket uh, Bitcoin or Relay. And it's really cool to work here and to, to use Bitcoin as well. Um, not that much, as I said, but uh, it's really, it's really awesome here to use and to be part of the, the community here, if so. It's, it's easy, it's accepted, uh, people are interested. As I said, vibrant, a vibrant community here. It's definitely cool to, to live here in Switzerland um, if you're interested in those areas. Yeah. Is there any overlap between other German speaking Bitcoin communities like in Germany or Austria with the Swiss community? I would say with the, with the German with the German ones definitely I said uh, I've seen that you have a, an interview with a chef from uh, from Berlin uh, the Fulmo the Fulmo guys and um, for sure we are in touch here in the in the in the German speaking uh, area here in, in Europe um, especially the German the German guys and the Swiss guys are really I would say good connected um, they are some very famous and cool podcasts out there from, from Germany. We have one here in, in, in Switzerland as well. So I have one as well, but um, the German guys, they do a, a really awesome job as well. And yeah, some of them come to Switzerland uh, when we have some meetings here, meetups, and we go to Germany. It's, everything is pretty close, right? So especially the, the southern part of the Germany, the Munich guys, and it's, it's just two or three hours between Munich and Zurich by car. So it's really easy to meet each other. And it's, it's cool that we have um, yeah, those interactions with the, the, the German guys. Mark, did you want to plug your podcast or your website or anything else uh, that you might be working on currently? Yeah, sure. Um, my website is uh, marksteiner.tech. Uh, it's my yeah my my company website, and my podcast is still growing. It's just a small one because I just started. I would say, I guess it was six or seven weeks ago. Um, so it's just a small one, but um, it's still growing for sure. It's in German. It's not in English. So if some German-speaking people watching this interview here, feel free. To listen to in the podcast it's called um bitcoins nutzen and profitieren it's german <laughs> german words but um yeah for sure it would be awesome to get in touch with you guys if you have questions just uh, reach out to me well mark thank you very much for taking time out of your day and answering my questions um i hope this was really informative for viewers in switzerland so that they can learn about some of the services that are available to them thanks thanks for having me it was a pleasure to talk to you thanks